This patient comes in with abdominal pain, gets a CT scan with intravenous contrast, and immediately, when we look at the first couple of slices, there's numerous distended loops of large bowel. We focus on these loops in particular and follow them down. This one over here we can see goes to the left lower quadrant, leads to loops over here, and so that's really going to be a loop of the sigmoid colon. We'll follow this back up, goes to this loop over here. Let's follow this one down now. You can see there's a little loop, a little bit of interloop edema and fluid, so that suggests that there's some high-grade uh, obstructive process potentially that's brewing. And if we were to follow this loop even down, 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 you can see there's a very abrupt change of caliber to this loop, which is very distended, and this loop over here of the sigmoid colon, which is collapsed. And so that has that bird's beak appearance of uh, that can be seen with sigmoid volvulus. And so this is indeed a very, very good look for sigmoid volvulus um, in this patient. And if we were to examine the scout radiograph associated with this, you can see that loop of bowel, that U-shaped loop of bowel going to the right upper quadrant, quite distended. The loops upstream from it are also distended. Very classical look for uh, sigmoid volvulus as well. And this is what this turned out to be. The patient had a, a sigmoid decompression, which uh, improved the distension.